What up, guys? Welcome back to Benny Hill's Fishing. So I'm just out running a few errands. Figured I'd uh, take a minute, do a quick video, see if I can do a little bit of an update for you guys. You know, see how things are going. I'm just chilling out here in a parking lot right now. So see a bunch of people running around and doing stuff. So it's catching my eyes. I'm like a little cat. I'm like, oh, something's shiny. But uh, whatever. So anyways, um, I know a bunch of people are trying to get in on this active target stuff and trying to figure out, you know, if this forward facing sonar is for you or not for you, or if it's cheating, if it's not really cheating. That's what I can tell you guys. I personally have it. I am not a huge electronics guy. I'd rather not depend my fishing on electronics, but it is a tool and it is something you have to learn. No matter what you do, how it works, how you figure out how to use it, how you apply it to your fishing. So if you guys are thinking about getting it and you're like, is it worth it? Is it not worth it? I'm going to tell you two things. One, it's a tool. So depending on how your fishing is, that's how you can determine if it's going to be worth it. Now, if you say you're just a shallow water guy, you don't need it. Da, 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 da. I'm a shallow water guy and I still use a shallow. So keep that one out anyways. But, uh, you know, it definitely has helped me offshore. So it's given me a little more confidence out there while I'm fishing. You know, because I really, you know, I get offshore. Sometimes I get a little quirky and a little upset and a little grouchy. and Just don't like being out there. You know, it's just, you know, you're always in the elements, everything else. And it's just like, dude, I just want to know that the fish are there. I want to be able to catch them. I don't want to sit out here and kill myself trying to do all these things. When I could just go flip a bank real quick, hit a couple lay downs, hit a lily pad patch or some deeper weeds that's shallow, you know, it's just stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's, I'd just rather be able to fish stuff that I like to fish. And usually it's typically shallow, so to speak, or bank related or structure related with cover. So, and that's how I work it. So when I'm using the active target, I'm out there. I'm doing my thing. I'm running around. I can actually go to these humps. And I can check them out. I can see rock piles. I can see schools of fish. You know, I, I can do certain things. And there's definitely certain patterns that I can be honest with you. If you're chasing that type of thing, it's way better. I mean, if you're on a bait fish bite, active target is huge, huge. I mean, I can't tell you the stuff I saw. Second off, I mean, you can totally tell when fishing pressure hits your lake during tournament day. 100 percent you'll be on active target you'll be watching fish bite lures da 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 chase stuff and all of a sudden a lure come down and that fish go whoa, whoa. no i ain't looking at that thing i know what that's gonna do so you know that's one of the things that's kind of weird about it but i mean i enjoy it i enjoy using it i try to use it a little too much i guess you could say but it is what it is you know so hopefully next year i'll be able to figure out when i should be using it when i shouldn't be using it maybe get a little better at it um you know it definitely helped me out this year would i say that it was a game changer for me this year i don't know that's a tough decision that's a tough thing to say because certain tournaments it definitely definitely helped definitely definitely helped definitely put it to there so i mean i guess you could say yeah it was a game changer for me this year um it gave me confidence on lakes that i hate to fish um it gave me confidence when the bite just completely shut off to have a different tool out there to use so i mean that was kind of nice you know what i mean um so yeah i mean it's definitely a game changing thing i mean it's a game changing tool just like spot lock was so, I mean, any of you guys that have a spot locking and trolling motor knows how much of a game changer that was. And when it came out, it was a huge deal. So, I mean, it's just one more thing that you got to put on there, you know, so to speak. But, I mean, I will tell you this too. It, it comes with about another thousand, <laughs> you know. I mean, there's things that you're going to want to have for that active target. And you're going to have to purchase separate than active target. Either you're going to have to get a better unit or a couple more units, or just another unit to run 2D on, or one of those posts to kind of, so that way when you're spot locked, you can stay locked in on the item. You know, whatever it is, it's probably gonna run you a little bit extra than what you think. That's all. I mean, that's what I found. And I can tell you if I spent the extra money this year, there would have been a lot, <laughs> it would have benefited me a lot more. So, 
other than that, guys, you know, if you're thinking about Active Target or, you know, Garmin's Live Scope or Mega Live, I believe it is, from Hummingbird, you know, forward facing sonar in general, and you just want to go out and have a good time, it's worth it. And if you're a tournament guy, I'm just going to tell you this right now it's a tool. You, if you know tournament fishing, you know how useful tools are to you. So, just bear that one in mind. You might not use it. You might not use it in a tournament. You might only use it pre-fishing. You know, you might use it when you don't have it. You know, stuff like that. So, anyways, guys, it was good talking to you. Hope you liked this one. Hope it helped you out. Maybe helped you out with a decision or two. But anyways... I'll get at you guys. Peace.